Wow. That was a bit bonkers, that, wasn't it? Absolutely brutal. <laughs> I really feel like I'm going to fall. Yeah. Hello, welcome to One Crane Do Stuff, where today we are doing Fantasia Land. So we can finally say that we're at Fantasialand. We've wanted to come for absolutely years. I think pretty much since they started building Taron, we wanted to come, haven't we? And then obviously like Fly started coming, so we waited for that and then we saved up the money and we're here. We're, as you can probably see, we're staying at the Charles Lindbergh Hotel. Uh, there will be a video on the channel for that as well, so you can go and check that out. Um, now the park, for some reason, the park opens today at nine o'clock, but the rides are actually open at 10. Um, we do have fast track for Fly because we're staying at Charles Lindbergh, however, we want to save them don't we so we're going to try and go down there and queue up for it first thing probably going to take a while because i imagine people are going to come in at nine o'clock and queue up straight away so we're probably going to have to wait for it from nine o'clock but it's quarter to now and we're not really doing anything are we so yeah. we might as well and then we can use the fast track later so we're going to go do fly first and then we'll move on to taron and just sort of explore the rest of the park from what we've seen of Ruckberg already from the hotel which is well all of it because we can go down there can't we at night mm -hmm. It's stunning. Yeah, we've only seen it by night so far, though. It's absolutely um, stunning, and we'll talk more about it when we're down there, but I'm so excited for this theme park. It looks incredible, and even just the experience we've had since we've arrived is just brilliant, isn't it? Mm, absolutely amazing. amazing. I can't wait. So here we are now, Danny Ruckberg, and if you can see around us, it's... It's just absolutely incredible. There is, <laughs> is literally not an inch of it that isn't themed. No. It's literally it's just everywhere. floor to ceiling, wall to wall. Yeah. There's stuff everywhere. The fly just literally, I, I can't even keep up with what there's, the layout is no, supposed to be. There's it's so just, much track everywhere. It's just ducks and dives yeah. in and out. It disappears no. underground and yeah. all sorts. Like even from like where the hotel is, like we're trying to follow where the track goes round, but it just, it's that, everything's that sort of integrated. You just can't tell that, you can't tell what's roller coaster, what's Rugberg, what's Hop Hotel. It's just absolutely everywhere. And you can see, like you see here, look, literally like all around the floor. <laughs> like a hole here and bikes and tools and I was getting to that bit, but you cut me <laughs> off. Um, but there's literally, there's crates and like sandbags. Sacks, yeah. And they're literally just theming everywhere. everywhere. Even just like down in the, like down here. Like, and I just think like, if that was a UK park, that would just be concrete. Yeah, it'd just be a pit. Wouldn't, they probably wouldn't have bothered it. with it. No. But literally every single, tiny inch of it is themed there's not a single blank wall anywhere no. there's nothing no empty section whatsoever like look all around just everywhere it's amazing absolutely stunning it and, I is. Mean, we've seen plenty of pictures what are you, what are you <laughs> doing uh, we've seen loads of pictures loads of videos of it mm. but honestly actually being here it's just absolutely phenomenal it's it is. like I've just seen awe of the whole thing. It's absolutely amazing. It is amazing. Ooh, what was that? I don't know if that was a real creek or a fake creek. <laughs> but it's just absolutely stunning. Like, mm. it's one of the best areas I've ever seen. Yeah, uh, like, definitely. Like, it's up there with Diagon Alley and uh, Pandora. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I definitely, mm. after Orlando, like, 
I didn't think we'd ever see anything like no made me feel like this ever again. Yeah, but, but this is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. And it, I can't wait to see Flugheim as well after this because yeah. that looks amazing. That's just so immersive as well. You can't see outside of the area no, because everything's so high. <laughs> and even like when we're on a hotel balcony, you can't see path outside no, of the area. We haven't been to the top yet, so I don't know what it looks on like. On the observation there. area, yeah, that's true. Um, but, and I believe when I've looked around sort of pictures and videos, I think it's like this throughout the whole park, mm. but the sight lines are really, really well considered, aren't they? Because you can you cannot see out of this area. You don't know that there is anything beyond this, do you, at the moment? No. Because you literally can't see anything. Yeah. And considering the size of this park, that's impressive. Mm. isn't it because they don't have a lot of room to do this kind of stuff with but they've just it's just so well designed they've just built it in such a way that they can pack so much stuff into such a small space yeah like the fact that there's a whole hotel a restaurant a bar and a roller coaster is just yeah insane <laughs> and they've just made sure that they've considered every angle and just make sure you can't see anything else it's just mm. phenomenal yeah there's like a train up there train and then there's like cranes up here somewhere oh my god oh my god oh my god oh oh, oh, oh. oh. it's about to go about to go first time I've ever uh, seen it yes <laughs> uh. is it on uh, I don't I have no idea uh. what's going up here around the here <laughs> Oh, so people on it? No, 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 no. Oh, just empty in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it doesn't. If it. No, they don't want to be. Oh, no, you're right. It's it's still not technically empty. open, is it yet? No, no. Oh, uh, there's the steam. Oh, that he was talking about. I, ju I, ju <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what. I've run out of words. It's just incredible. Wow. So here we are. We're going to get in the main queue first because um, we've got the fast track. We want to save them until later when, like, the queue look horrendous and we want to do some re-rides. Uh, so we get the main queue which is currently here and the entrance is just sort of around the corner. Um, and we've got, what time is it? It is quarter past nine. Quarter past nine, so it's going to be about 45 minutes before it actually like properly opens. But I don't think there's much of a queue, so it shouldn't be too bad once it no, finally get open. It's actually the first week after the summer holidays for the children, so hopefully... And to be fair, I mean, Nothing else is open, so we're not going to do anything else in this time, are we? So we no. might as well stand and enjoy it. Yay. Wow, okay, <laughs> just come off a uh, fly. I, oh, I don't even know what to say about that. That oh, was, a ride. Really, yeah, that was. that was so good. So was good. Brilliant. Was absolutely brilliant. Yeah. yeah. There it is, look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was absolutely it, amazing. It There's was. so many. There's like, so much going on in there. Yeah, like, yeah. Just, just twisting I and turning all the time. I didn't know where I was. No, I didn't. Faster than it looks. It really is faster than it looks. Yeah. Really yeah. Just constantly dipping and yeah. diving, aren't you? And, and I like, I really like, there's quite a few moments where it sort of dips. Mm. And it's really, really good. Really, and, really good. 
the length of time that you're on there as well is really good, isn't it? It's yeah. a nice, really long ride. Yeah. It's not quite as gentle as it looks, is it? It's quite forceful. Like, yeah. You know, some of those corners, there was a lot of force. Yeah, there was, yeah. I mean, in terms of flying coasters, we've only ever done Galactica up yeah. until now. So now. the bar wasn't set very high. <laughs> but definitely the best flying yeah. coaster we've been yeah. on. That was absolutely fantastic. The launches were great, weren't they? Like, yeah. not, obviously not forceful, but I don't think you want them forceful in that position, do you? Like, you don't want. Yeah. I mean, they were for, but I mean, they're not like a hydraulic, like really extreme force, are they? Mm. Because I think that would be too much. I was trying to look out for our hotel room. Oh, it, go, it goes right past our room on that. Oh, balcony. it does. On the yeah, second, it does. On the second launch, but, yeah. You're moving so fast, it's hard to keep yeah. up with where you are. Maybe once you get like used to the layout, yeah. maybe look yeah. at um, I want to, we were like, what, row seven? Um, yeah, we were row seven, yeah. I want to try yeah, and get seven. a front row ride on it, and as well, like, a if back I can, row, like, well, a back can. row would be yeah. quite good, just to see, like, the difference. how different it is. Yeah. It'd be interesting to come back later as well and see what it's, like, warmed up, like, yeah. see if it makes a difference, see if it gets any faster, because, I mean, it was pretty fast already for a morning ride wasn't it yeah it was um, and i don't know what the comas are like for warming up i don't really know no but oh, wow what an incredible so ride so efficient as yeah. well like you get these little wristbands that um and you've got a locker so you leave all your bags in the locker similar mm. to what you do at um in orlando put your stuff in the locker and you get an electronic wristband that you can come back and scan the locker in and even the lift hill is like a little pre-show isn't it because yeah you get like a little video as you go to the lift hill yeah and yeah. even just like the way it gets into flying position yeah so efficient compared mm. to like the b&m ones where it's just the whole operation there was so efficient we were just on and we were going weren't we mm. and it's just a really good operations already so i just absolutely in love with this park we've only seen one area of it that was incredible and I want to do it again and again and again and I can't wait now to go and try Taran. So here we are, we're just coming to Klugheim now. Oh, look at it! Oh my god! Again, like there's just so, so much of it. Come on this side of me, Adam. Come on this side. So you can be behind it. You can see Mystery Castle in the background. You can see all the rock work on here. It's absolutely phenomenal. And again, like just look how much track there is just yeah. like twisting and weaving in and out like it's absolutely insane it is and the sound of though sound of those launches is <laughs> mad isn't it absolutely amazing here it comes there it comes over here now there's a hell of a lot of hype about this coaster yeah. it's uh, already got a very 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 big reputation and i try not to overhype things in my mind so i've tried not to get too overexcited about it Doesn't um amazing they're like look at all of this over here stunning but i mean it's no doubt that his reputation is big isn't it yeah so it's got a lot to live up to um to be as good as people say it is but i'm willing i'm willing for it to be that good i'm hoping it's that good i really hope it's as good as people say it is and that we love it just as much as the mm. people do yeah i hope i don't have the eye what has the effect on this right uh off <laughs> I didn't like that ride. Iron Guazi was absolutely amazing. I did think um, so. But I mean, it, as far as as far as Intermins go, mm. usually I find Intermins really rough. But Velocicoaster wasn't too I bad. Um, obviously, this isn't the the same Star Track as Velocicoaster. They're done for a newer track now. This is more like the sort of stealth Rita style of track. So we'll see. We'll see. The main thing is though, it has got the that bar rather than those horrible Intermin style. Um, overhead restraints that they used to have you know the over shoulder ones mm. the Rita's got which smack your neck every on every corner oh god yeah it does on Rita so I'm hoping it's going to be a bit smoother than that um, but we'll see there's only one way to find out shall we go let's go So we've just come off Tarrant now. 
Whoa. That was something else, <laughs> wasn't it? That it was, was a really good ride, yeah. I that really was did. intense. Yeah. I did, I did think it was, yeah, I did think it did live up to the hype, to be definitely, fair. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Both of those launches. Obviously, I still think, wow, look at that. I still think hydraulic launches have more oomph. But I tell you what, this second launch is brutal, isn't mm. it? It's really, really fast. Yeah. And see how loud that is. Some of like some of the forces going around these corners are absolutely insane, aren't they? Yeah. Absolutely mad. Um, and there was a hill sort of just, I think it was just after the first launch. I can't really remember because it was so weavy. But I think just after the first launch, you go over a hill and like I thought it was going to like rock you to the moon. It was so, so good. Um, and it really whips you back and forth, doesn't it? Does, it does, yeah. It really does. Yeah, my only um, complaint would be it's a little bit head jolty. I it did it's see, it. see yeah. I, didn't, I didn't get that, but I did see like, as we came back into the station, I noticed you were holding your neck. Yeah. But I didn't, I didn't think it was that. No, I suppose it, but no, it was a nice, it was a good ride, to be fair. Nice. <laughs> it was nice. It was yeah. a nice ride. Yeah. No, that was, that was incredible. I absolutely yeah. loved that. It was brilliant. And it was, it wasn't, it was fairly smooth, wasn't it? It wasn't, mm. it rattles at some point. Yeah. Like, during the, like, the really, like, heavy intensity bits. But, I mean, it's what? Eight years old, something it's now? It. So... And I like the way it goes in and out of all the fake rock work. Yeah, like and, sim um, you go past a, a few uh, waterfalls, which is pretty cool. Like very similar to Fly, isn't it? Where he just goes in and yeah. out, yeah, weaves yeah. all around. Like it's they're so well designed, and even mm. even like the queue. Like I mean, it's not an amazing queue, but like just the way like it's just completely built in, isn't it? It's yeah. Bit, and same with Fly. We were yeah. looking at Fly before we went on it, and we were like, where the hell have they built mm. the queue for this? Because you just can't. You know, it's just a bit amazing the way they integrate mm. it all. Those launches are so loud, man. Um, and I do like that there's theming in the queue line. I think that's something that the UK often lacks on is theming yeah, in yeah. the queue line. We'll get that when we get to Port of Mature, though, will we? Yeah, <laughs> that's true, cool, yeah. Cattle pen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, the queues are nicely themed. Um, mm. Especially Fly. Fly was a, a really, yeah. really nice queue to walk through. Amazing. Um, this one wasn't bad, not quite as much theming in the queue as no. that one. But. Oh, that was just, that was amazing. I absolutely loved that. And I definitely think it deserves the credit that it gets for how good it was. Absolutely amazing. It's so loud to buy this lodge. Right, I think we're going to go to Rutmore Tavern and get some German food, aren't we? Mm, so yes. traditional German meats and stuff. So we'll join you in there. So we're just sat here in Rutmore's Tavern, which is the um, restaurant in Klugheim. Um, you can see it's sort of, I don't know if you can see down there, or people there, but it's all sort of, Mythical themed. Uh, if you look down there, there's sort of a fireplace. It reminds me of Game of Thrones. I've never actually watched Game of Thrones. But that's what it reminds me of. Uh, we've got stained glass windows everywhere, and we've got these. Are these thrones? Throne things that we're sat on. There's Adam looking all majestic. Um, now it's definitely not one to come to if you're not a meat eater because, like, it's a very, very meat-based menu. Meat-based, meat-based menu, and there isn't much on here that isn't, you know, that is suitable for vegetarians. Um, so we've gone for a platter. Now I do like anything which comes with a selection of food because we're very indecisive. So we've gone for a meat and sausage platter for two people. So uh, we're just waiting for that and we'll show you when it gets in. See this is what I was trying to show you, look, like a stone troll I think. Trapped up there, chained down with the candles and uh, I think you can see the fireplace now down there. Absolutely stunning. It looks amazing, doesn't it? It does. I think we can definitely say it's a step up from the Burger Kitchen at Alton Towers, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> now, we'll be honest, it's quite big. <laughs> we probably could have got the one for one person between us, couldn't we? Yes. But there we go. We'll make our way through it somehow. We are absolutely stuffed full of German meat now, aren't we? That was... That was a lot. That yeah. was far more than we could handle yeah. between us, wasn't it? I think, like, the platter for one probably would have yeah, done us. Yeah, yeah. If I could yeah. go back knowing what I know now, I would have just got the platter for one. Definitely. I think the platter for two could easily feed four people. Yeah. Mm. Especially with the, I mean, the, the, I mean the meat. There was a lot of meat to get through. But and then a lot of thick bread, bread. as well. There was so, yeah. so much bread and then like two whole pretzels as well. That's yeah. A, it's a lot for two people. That. Mm. Um, and I mean, we get breakfast included. So we, you need to be very, very hungry. 
even, yeah. if they, even if you share the platter for one, I think you need to be pretty damn hungry yeah. to get through that. That was huge, wasn't it? Mm. Oh, God. It was good, though. I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? it yeah. Good. It was good yeah. food, good service, was. really nice restaurant as well. Mm. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't get the platter for two. If there's two well, I would, get, I would get a platter for half the amount of people you've got. Mm. It's ridiculous. Mm. Uh, so I think the next... Um, a lot is closed at the minute. Uh, River yeah. Quest is closed, Chia Pass is closed, which is a shame because it's a roasting day. I'm yeah. going to chill off. Um, but whilst we're in Club Heim, we're going to go on Rake, which is just over here. Is that it? Yeah, I think it's just gone that way, so we'll come here in a minute. Yeah. It sort of interlinks with Taran. Yeah, so yeah. To sort of cross over, um, the tracks cross over. Yeah. So it's just a little family boomerang. Mm. Kind of it looks quite fun, and obviously, oh, like, it does. Sometimes I think I really think the theming can make a ride. Yeah. And I've got a feeling for a family boomerang this is gonna be pretty impressive mm. just because of like the way it interlinks with Taran and yeah. just the way it again it moves through the um the scenery. It's just oh it's just so it's amazing. Mm. Absolutely amazing. There's just like every inch, every single inch is fully themed, isn't it? There's, yeah. Uh, even just like I like the way it transitions from like like here you can see like Lowest movement. You, just the way it transitions from Klugheim into China is just really well thought out. Yeah. Isn't it? It's not jarring or it just sort of fades from one to the other. It's uh, absolutely amazing. I love it. So there we have just done Rake and Mystery Castle, haven't we? Mm. Well, you have. Yeah. You enjoyed. Well, you enjoyed Rake. Yeah, I, know I you did enjoyed enjoy Rake. Rake. Yeah, yeah. I think it's my favourite boomerang of road. Uh, oh, I thought you were going to say your favourite coaster here. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Boomerang of road to date. I yeah, mean, I think I've rode many. I've rode um, Velociraptor at Paltons and the one at Accelerator. The Accelerator. Yeah. Great manner. Great manner. Used to be Ben Ten. Yeah, um, that's definitely the best one that I've yeah. done. Fastest one. That fastest I've done. one, definitely. And I think, do, do, did it feel like it took us up higher than the others? Um, I don't know. Actually, it's hard to tell because obviously yeah. everything's sunken, isn't it? And everything yeah. because there's, you sort of go up into a. I'm going to say a shed, but it's not a shed. It's like mm. a sort of themed building. Um, but I don't know how I should describe it. It's sort of like a well-themed shed, really, isn't it? Yeah. It's sort of wooden and mm. sort of fits in with the um, architecture of Klugheim. Um, but yeah, and especially down that sort of last bend slash the first bend when you're going backwards, it was really it's quite mm. intense actually for a family yeah. coaster. That isn't it? I was really impressed with that. Really, really good it actually. Gets you in the tummy, and I like that about roller. That's what I look for in a roller coaster. I like it when it gets me in the tummy. A bit of tummy feeling, mm -hmm. yeah. Good tummy churner. Um, and then we just went on Mystery Castle, which you can see just oh, I don't. It's so sunny. I can't see. Yeah. There we go. Um, just been on Mystery Castle. Uh, that was a bit bonkers, that, wasn't it? Yeah, that it was, was actually. I mean, I'm not a fan of drop towers, but I actually did enjoy that. That was, yeah. I think it's because I, I couldn't see the ground. I, I couldn't see the ground. Yeah. That's what I don't like about drop towers. And it wasn't an intense drop, was it? No, it wasn't. Like, it wasn't intense. intense drop, and no. it also go. I won't go to spoil too much, but it does go up and it goes down. I think mm. there's two different cycles. God knows which one we got. Um, but what it, um, I like the fact that it's not an intense drop tower because I'm not. I've drop towers really. Oh, oh. Um, but the intensity of the actual atmosphere was a lot. Yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm trying to say. It was, yeah. it was like because they've mm. got they've got audio on in there and the um, the lighting and I don't really know because obviously it's in German so I don't really know what he was so, saying. Yeah. Um, but I'm assuming we were in some sort of peril. It felt like we were in peril, didn't mm. it, by what he yeah. was saying? I think it was some site not scientists. Mm. But yeah, it's mad. Mm. Like just the, the level of theming here is just unreal. Like actually walking through the castle, the corridors are fantastic. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, really, really nice. Yeah. Uh, and just e even the actual drop itself. Mm. Like when have you ever seen a drop tower themed to that degree? It's just even even as a castle garden, which we're sat in now. Which yeah, is nice. yeah, it's a little castle yeah. garden here. That's what. That's one thing I've noticed as well about the maintenance because there's someone here. I think she's doing some sort of gardening. Mm. Um, and when we were in. Um, Rookberg. Rookberg. 
um, there was some guy like themed, funny themed, dressed as a swim the, swim the cheap, <laughs> dressed as a chimney sweep with a, a chimney sweep style brush, and he was going around and cleaning all of the fences, mm. wasn't he? When we first got into Ruckburg before the park had actually opened, like when we were letting hotel guests in, um, there was someone clean. They've got these sort of like little booths around Ruckburg that you can sit in, sort of like themed benches, and there was someone going and wiping all them down, like complete contrast to what we see back home, isn't it? Because mm back home it's like they just build things and then they're just left out there and like so many of the ride stations are just thick with dust and yeah everything's dirty the track never gets clean the pits around the path the track never get cleaned like they're just really on top of it here like nothing is dirty there's no graffiti like the amount of graffiti in uk parks is disgusting isn't it it's mm. everywhere and i know that's not necessarily the parks that's the people who are doing it yeah but i mean wet here whether it's just because people are more respectful or whether it's because they actively get rid of it more often i don't know but there's just no graffiti anywhere that we've seen is there no and no. everything is just so much cleaner and so much fresher isn't it because mm. i don't think mystery castle is new to any degree but obviously the technology you can tell is not quite as up to date but it didn't feel like it'd been there for years no, sort of decaying no. and wearing away did it mm. like it good. they do back home it's just a, such a such a well well themed well maintained park it's just a great park absolutely fantastic isn't it mm. absolutely in love i don't know what we're going to do next because most things are closed but Stick around. We've come over to Mexico now and we're going to try a Colorado Adventure followed by Talacan. And I can't tell you how excited I am to get on Talacan. I miss the days when we had Ramos's Revenge and uh, we had Ripsaw. Yeah. So it's going to be good to get on another top spin. I've missed a top spin in the UK. Here it is behind us. Look. We've never been on one. In fact, I've never even seen one anywhere else where the seats face both ways. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You can face forwards or you can face backwards, backwards sort yeah. of against the wall. So I'm hoping, I don't know whether you get to choose, but I'm kind of hoping that we get the chance to try both whilst, I mean, we're here for three days. So I'm hoping yeah. we get to try both um, to see if it makes any difference in riding experience. As you can see, we've, there's the usual fountains here. Um, we've got this water feature at the front. I do know that it shoots fire as well. It's not doing it at the moment. I don't know whether that's not working or whether it does it a little bit later in the cycle. I don't know. Um, but I do know that fire comes out this uh, thing at the bottom here. This thing. Water feature. And I'm not really sure what it's supposed <laughs> to be. Some sort of, obviously it's themed, because it's Mexico, it's some sort of like Mayan temple sort of theme. But yeah, um, I don't know what you'd call that thing at the bottom there, do you? No, no, some sort of statue. Those people there got absolutely soaked then. Oh god, they did, yeah. But it just looks phenomenal. Mm. It looks huge, this one. Yeah, it does. Yeah, actually. it's massive. Oh, I can't wait. No. I can't <laughs> wait. Let's go see how good it is. So that is Talacan and Colorado Adventure done. Talacan, for I have missed top spins yes, and that me too. reminded me of why we love them so much. Yeah. That was a really, really good cycle. That was a that. really good cycle, really a nice good cycle. long cycle as well. 
intense cycle intense, as well. Intense, yeah. Like eye popping. <laughs> it's so intense. You get what you've got. What what eight? Two lots of four flips, something like that. And mm. it was, I think it goes both ways, doesn't it? So it yeah. Backwards first and then forwards for depending on which row you're on. But mm. we were on the front row this time. It uh, didn't get wet actually. It no, looks like you looks like you get really wet when you're standing mm. off right, but we didn't. So no, we didn't. Not I think too. It was just in the right spot to not get too wet. Mm. But that was insane. It was so 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 it was good, wasn't it? it was really really good. really good. I that one. Really, oh, I can't wait to go on that again. It was so intense. Mm. Um, and then, <laughs> then we did Colorado Adventure, and I mean, I mean. To begin with, it took us ages to find the entrance. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to find because like, like, you come into like um, the Mexico area, and you can see it. You can see it going round. It weaves over and over the paths and stuff. But the actual entrance is like round the back of the the theatre thing, isn't yeah. it? Like right round the back, and like as you're heading to China, and it's not even not even a big entrance sign or no, anything, is there? No. It was really hard to find. We found it eventually. And, oh. That was brutal. Absolutely brutal. <laughs> it wasn't the nice little um, mine train that we're used to. No, that no, was... It's like nice, pleasant little rides. There are no kiddies rides here, are there? No. <laughs> they pull no I bunches. I did not expect that. <laughs> no, I didn't. That was, And I expect that second section. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It that... rags you around like a bloody mm, rag doll. It was really... That, that was insane. Yeah. It was so it was good. Oh, do you enjoy it? Yeah. I enjoy yeah. it. I thought we were going to come out of it. I'm not going to lie. Yes. <laughs> Your bum comes out, you see quite a lot on that. Yeah, it? and because it's like one bar for the whole yeah. seat, and it, I think it can probably squeeze in three people, can't it? Mm. So we were sliding yeah. left and right, and that was mad. That was and absolutely. You take your bags on that one as well, so I was like, yeah. I have to <laughs> hold my bag between my feet. Linging onto it, because yeah. really, there's not really much of a step to get into it, is it? No. So it like, wouldn't take, I don't think it would take much for your bag to just fly off the side of it. So I was clinging onto my backpack for dear life there mm. oh my god that was that was phenomenal that was i just there's nothing nothing hasn't hit yet has it no not a single no. thing hasn't hit we've made our way to the fantasy area now and we first did eva winger's force or fear we're not quite sure which one we did he didn't really say no well, i think he said fear at the beginning but i'm sure on the app it said force but uh, who knows yeah um, we did one of them it was fun, wasn't it? It was good. Yeah. I really enjoyed yeah. it. I really do we, enjoyed it. Yeah. Do enjoy Spin Coaster. Yes, that was nice. We'd nice. like to do both so we can see which so, one yeah. is best. Yeah. I love yeah. the little extra elements that they've got in that. Yeah. Sort of like the, elements that yeah. Yeah. That was good. I've never seen that on a um, Spin Coaster before. No, not on many coasters, to be quite honest. That that's really true. Cool. That yeah. In fact, that last, that last little bit, I've never seen on any coaster, I don't think. No. It did. That was, so it was really cool. It was really, really good. Mm. I really enjoyed that. And then we went and did Crazy Bats. And gosh, those bats were crazy. I enjoyed that. I really feel like I'm gonna fall yeah. after that. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a load of fun. I loved no, Crazy it was, Bats. <laughs> it was good. In terms of like VR rides, mm. I think that is that is the level. Like it wasn't, it didn't take anything away from the ride because it wasn't no. anything amazing anyway, was it? It was just no. like a family ride. It was quite long. Um, it was quite long. And yeah, it was the, the VR was fun, but um, I don't know. I, ne I I never normally have a problem with stuff like that, but it made me feel really sick, <laughs> really really sick. Um, I feel like I need a drink now. Yeah, I need a drink as well. Yeah. In fact, I thought at one point halfway through, I thought, oh, I might actually be sick on this. Oh night. no! But I'm I glad wasn't. you didn't. I yeah. <laughs> no, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> um, but no, you know, it was it was good. It was good. Um, but yeah, it's made me feel really really ill. So. Um, I don't know if I'll be going on that again. <laughs> oh, so that is day one done at Fantasyland. Did you have fun? I did. I had so much fun. What a brilliant park this is. It's so, so, so good. It's yeah. so good. We've just had... Have we had three goes on fly now? Three goes on fly, yeah. We just we started the day on fly, we ended the day on fly. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure after how ill I felt after Crazy Bats, but I thought, do you know what? At least if you vom on fly, it's like, you know, you're facing mm. downwards already, aren't you? So we're all yeah. good. Um, but it didn't make me feel sick. We, <laughs> we did go and take a gentle boat ride before fly. I can't remember yes. what that one's called. Wacker. Wacker Tomba or yeah. something like that. Something like that. Um, it's normally sort of an interactive thing where you shoot targets with water, um, but that's not on at the moment, so it's just a boat ride. Mm. It was okay, wasn't it? It yeah. was okay. <laughs> absolute mm. trek to get down there wasn't yeah, it yeah it was and that's all there is down there there's nothing else <laughs> no no that, and there's some pedalos but I suppose they're a lot closer aren't they yeah 
Um, oh, it's been absolutely amazing. There's mm. still like some stuff there that we haven't been able to do. No. We haven't done... Um, Cheer Pass has been closed all day. day. Hopefully that will reopen while we're here because yeah, I was excited to get on that. Yeah, really excited to I get really that. want to get on Cheer Pass, but that's been closed since this... I don't know if it ever opened today. Um, we haven't got on River Quest yet because that was closed for, for a while, wasn't it? Yeah. And then when it did open, the queue was absolutely astronomical, so we haven't got on that yet. No, um, no. But hopefully tomorrow morning we'll get on that. Um, Sadly, Black Mamba is shut for the duration while we're here. It says it's been shut since the 24th of yeah, August. For yeah, for urgent maintenance. Yeah, we didn't realise. Um, I found a website that said something about white snails, which I don't quite know whether that's a bad translation or what's going on there. Mm. Um, but yeah, something to do with one of the loops. So it doesn't say how long it's down for, when it will be back, but I very much doubt it's going to be back up and running before we leave, is it? No. no. It's a massive, massive shame. Yeah, it's a shame. about that, but there's there's nothing we can do about no. it. We didn't know when we no, booked this like months and months ago. But um, the difference between that one and Cheer Pass, Cheer Pass on the app says temporarily closed, whereas yes. Black Mamba says closed. Mamba says so closed. I really, really hope Cheer Pass reopens. Yeah. And we've only done one whinger, so we need to do the other winger. Yeah, we do. We don't quite we know do. which winger we've done. Mm. Uh, and there's the Fun House as well, and the uh, African yeah. Trail is still open, the Deep Africa Discovery Trail yeah. thing. Deep yeah. in Africa, I think Deep it's called. Africa. And I'm really looking forward to... Um, the the mouse of chocolate ah uh, yes mouse of chocolate mouse of chocolate looking forward to that um, one we so yeah one so there's too. still there's still plenty mm. of stuff to do so hopefully we'll get all of that done tomorrow and we'll do sort of a mop up of the the smaller attractions tomorrow and um, we obviously will still do fly because we've got the um, passes for it and we're going to queue up for um, Taron first thing aren't we mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to break his neck again. Mm. We did go on a second time, didn't we? I, we did go on a second time, yeah. Your neck still hurts. My neck still hurt afterwards. <laughs> Not as bad as the first time, but... Yeah. It's interesting, though, isn't it? How it, how differently it affects people, because like mm. I didn't get any of that. I didn't get no. any of that. I did feel the second time we went on it, um, it had obviously got slightly warmer, and it was a bit more rattly. It was a little bit more rattly in some of those corners. Mm. Um, and I think I was dehydrated by that point, because I feel like my brain was rattling around in my head. <laughs> it, was a bit, it was a bit much. Um... So yeah, there's still some stuff for us to get on to tomorrow and still some more exciting stuff for us. So we've still got some really exciting stuff to do tomorrow. So go and watch day two if that's up. If not, subscribe to us so you know when that's going to be coming. Um, Port Ventura is coming later this year as well. And we've got Halloween vlogs, Oktoberfest and more theme park content coming on the way. Give us a like, give us a comment and we will see you next time we do stuff.